A Bay Area woman who was cyber stalked for years is telling us her story tonight. She asked for help repeatedly, but Andrea Borba tells us how she finally got justice and peace of mind. It's a chilling phone message straight out of a nightmare and part of a decade-long assault Leandro Ram endured at the hands of Colin Mack, a cyber stalker thousands of miles away in Singapore. He would send pictures of guns. Pictures followed by phone calls and nearly 5,000 emails, all containing terrifying threats like, I will cut up your face with a box cutter and I am prepared to use a nightstick on you, all from a man Ram has never met face to face. He did everything except physically enter my life. Local law enforcement, the FBI, and even the UN said they couldn't help her. And in desperation, Ram says she engaged in sex chats just to keep Mac from threatening her family, her friends, even co-workers, all drawn into this stalker's web. It made me feel terrible because he would write all these sexual things on these AOL chats, and I sort of had to appease him um, as much as I could. But it didn't start out this way. Matt contacted the aspiring opera singer online after seeing her on TV, posing as a director, offering employment opportunities, in the process gaining Ram's trust and access to her information. I started looking at the evidence, uh, both the emails, the phone calls, the faxes. Forensic data expert A.J. Fardella stumbled onto Ram's case through a mutual friend. He was shocked by what he found, a 10-year-long assault on Ram and everyone close to her, saved on her computer. It's definitely terrorism, that it has a physical effect. There's no doubt that, you know, Leandra, many times when we were talking about the case, is shaking. You, know, you just have that icky feeling. Spurred on by Ram's diligent record keeping of her ordeal, Fardella used his law enforcement connections to help Singapore authorities bring Mac to justice, sending him to prison for three years, a first of its kind sentence for international cyber stalking. Ram is now living a new chapter in her life. She's married with a newborn son, and she's written a book about her experiences with a message for other women who are living the nightmare of cyber stalking. The most important thing is to keep fighting. We really haven't caught up to the Internet yet at all. Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. This statistic grabbed our attention. It's estimated that one in 12 American women will be cyber stalked in their lifetime.